Well, good morning. It's a, uh, it's a privilege to be here. Uh, my name is Representative Jason Grin, uh, proudly serving uh, District 22 in Anchorage, Alaska. I'm a fourth generation Alaskan. Uh, I'm actually serving in the part of Anchorage where I was born and raised, and uh, I, I take that um, as a big honor um, that uh, I get to meet with neighbors and, and raise my family in, in a place that I grew up in, and so I, 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 um, I take that very seriously. Um, I've got three kids. Uh, my background is in the nonprofit industry. Uh, really connecting with people uh, through our community and volunteering a lot. And uh, like many first-time candidates, um, I ran because I was frustrated with, with my incumbent. I was frustrated with the system that was happening in our state capital. And as a, as a young, younger person with, with a family and a mortgage, it's, it is uh, incredibly difficult to kind of decide you want to run for office. And uh, I worked with people trying to find um, different people who would run against the incumbent and – uh, I wasn't able to do so. My, my work told me that I'd have to quit my job if I was going to run for office, and so I continued to try to look for people who could do so. And uh, about an hour before the deadline uh, to sign up uh, for, for a candidacy, talked with my wife, uh, talked with friends, uh, sat in my car at the Division of Elections and decided to, uh, to sign up, did so, went back to my work, quit, um, which is a scary thing to do um, when you have to put uh, food on the table and, and, uh, and, and, you know, take care of your family. But um, to me, as someone who, as I mentioned, you know, born and raised in Alaska and who wants to be buried there one day, um, as the governor mentioned, we're going through just a horrific uh, fiscal crisis. And uh, I thought that, that was important for me to be a, a different voice than what was uh, currently happening in our capital. And so um, even if I wasn't going to win, that I would be forcing the incumbent to communicate better, to answer those questions that she wasn't answering. And so um, without a party, um, you know, I, I ran as an independent, obviously, but what that did was force me to go door to door, regardless of party affiliation, and really have those conversations with the neighbors about what was, what was important to them. You know, if I was Republican, I would probably skip the Democrats' house. If I was Republic, if I was Democrat, I'd skip Republican houses going door to door. But this forced me to go to every house in our district. Our our, our districts are about seventeen thousand people, uh, about ten thousand voters, and um, so we spent five months every night. I, I'd uh, take care of the family and go door knocking every day. And um, but when you when you have a flyer and it says independent on it, you really force people to ask you questions. Um, if you if you have an R or a D next to your name, they can kind of put you in a box and assume how you might vote on certain issues. And if that aligns with them, um, you know, maybe they'll vote for you, maybe they won't. But this, this forced them to ask me questions. This forced them to get on my website. This forced me to have to be honest with people and, and really be transparent and uh, try to find ways to connect with people. Um, and so we did that. And, um, you know, obviously there's, there's pros and cons of running as independent. It's been, it's been uh, identified here with, with the other, with the other um, you know, uh, politicians at, at, on the panel. But, um, you know, in November, we, we ended up beating the incumbent, and um, myself, there's another independent in the House uh, in Alaska, and um, we joined up with uh, Democrats, Republicans, and we took control. Uh, we are the majority in our House of Alaska. It's kind of a, a tripartisan coalition, um, which is a really unique thing, but we came together with one focus, which was to work on the, the fiscal mess that, that is happening in Alaska right now. And, and for too many years, we were just kicking the can down the road, and we really came together with a plan that, um, you know, obviously we have our, our differences when it comes to social issues, when it, when it comes to, um, um, you know, other, other bills and legislation, but we really wanted to come together and, and fix what was going on with our economy. And so um, a caucus group with, with far left and far right and centrist type people obviously gets uh, uh, pretty hot, but um, it's, it's an honor to be kind of that centrist voice, to be someone who wants to uh, – to find the common ground to work on on, on solutions. Um, during the campaign, one, one of my favorite stories is when I was going door to door, we, we ended up at the door of the president of the, the, uh, the Real Estate Association in Anchorage. Um, very uh, generally conservative uh, type of group. But uh, he invited me in. We talked at his living room. Um, you know, we, we talked about how uh, support might look during the campaign, even though previously they'd supported the, the Republican candidate. Um, great conversation. Um, but a half hour later, I got a phone call from the Young Democrats of Anchorage, and they wanted to kind of pick my brain, see, I, see where I was on some issues, and wanted to see if they could help volunteer on the campaign. And I think to me, that just kind of, you know, um, 
was was a great example of, of what it means to just be someone who is willing to talk with all parties, to talk to our, all people. Um, like the governor said, you know, I, I, I don't wear any hat. I'm just an Alaskan. And I think, um, you know, all of us just want to do what's best for, for our, our, our town, for our state. And, and sometimes that means, um, you know, getting rid of a label and being able to answer to people um, and, and have them feel comfortable emailing, phone calling you and, and have just real, real conversations without thinking that, um, you know, you have to, you have to toe a party line. So um, if I run again, uh, more than happy uh, to be uh, um, running as an independent, um, even as a lifelong Republican, um, you know, who found himself, um, you know, going towards the middle, um, you know, election after election, um, very happy to, to be a, a non-affiliated candidate and, uh, and having a governor of my state uh, be one as well. It's, uh, it's, been, uh, it's been quite a journey and, and really looking forward to, to talking more about it. Thank you.